so now these four process suction compression expansion exhaust forms one cycle and for completing one cycle i required a two stroke and that's why this particular engine is called as two stroke engine similar to four stroke in the two stroke also there are a two type like petrol engine and diesel engine okay so as we have discussed last time that for petrol engine we use a spark plug for diesel engine we use a fuel injector okay similar case is there so let's consider a construction of two stroke a line diagram in the line diagram i will explain what are the parts first this is cylinder this particular part is called a cylinder then this is a piston now piston for a two stroke and four stroke they are different one in the two stroke you will find that this extension is present on the top of the piston that extension is called as deflector that extension is called as what a deflector deflector has a specific uh, work which has to be done that we'll see later on currently remember that the piston top has a deflector so in a four stroke we have seen that there are walls inlet wall and exhaust wall but in a two stroke we are not having inlet wall and exhaust wall the walls got replaced by the ports okay now what are the ports port means what just opening provided there okay what are the ports this is exhaust port this is exhaust port and this is transfer port so two ports are there exhaust port transfer port okay so these are opening provided then on the downside the dome shape it is called as crank case this is called as a crank case or casing for a crank okay here this crank case is a leak proof leak proof means what here there will be charge basically the charge is stored in the two stroke into the bottom of the bottom of the uh, engine means what any crank case so this will be leak proof and inlet all the charge that is air plus fuel if i am having petrol engine that will be entering into this inlet port okay that will enter and it will be stored here and afterward it will be moving on upward side direction so these are various parts we have seen this is cylinder piston piston as a deflector this is our exhaust port this is our transfer port this is connecting rod this is crank and this is what crankshaft and the from crankshaft we take a power output that you are knowing already okay now how it works as i told you here this is called as two stroke why because for completing one cycle i required two strokes of the piston now what is stroke stroke is nothing but movement of piston from one dead center to other dead center that is what called a stroke where is the dead center i have drawn here as a top dead center here is a bottom dead center what is top dead center extreme top position of the piston is called as top dead center bottom dead center extreme bottom position of the piston is called as bottom dead center means piston cannot move above this piston cannot move below this that is what dead center okay now before starting discussion on working of this what we are going to consider is we consider that these two processes are completed which two the suction and compression inside the engine has completed let's assume suction and compression has completed now after completion of compression after completion of compression what happened the charge will be compressed let's consider piston is after compression it will be at tdc here and above this what will be there there is a air plus fuel air plus fuel which will be compressed on now after compression we have discussed in a four stroke there should be ignition this is a petrol engine so in the petrol engine for ignition there should be occurrence of spark the how spark will occur we will supply an electricity to this and spark will occur once spark will occur then ignition will take place ignition will take place after compression ignition means what ignition like a blast ignition like a blast so the fuel which is around this fuel which is around this spark plug it will be get burned it will be get burned <coughs> by taking help of the spark plug when it get burned it generated very high pressure and this high pressure is applied over the piston okay now piston will experience a force and because of experiencing force the piston will move on a downside direction now moving on a downside direction that particular process is called as what expansion process 
this particular process where the piston is moving from TDC to BDC so I'll write here as it is moving from TDC to BDC it is moving from TDC to BDC right so while moving on downside direction now currently whatever the burnt fuel is there this fuel is not a contact with exhaust port or transport port because there is this is a closed chamber when it moves on downside direction like this while moving on downside direction up to this up to this point this will remain a close when a piston moves just downside direction when piston moves just downside direction of the exhaust port what happen is exhaust port get opens as exhaust port, port get opens as exhaust port get opens the all the exhaust gases which are present that will go outside because of the pressure difference we know that the pressure inside the cylinder will be very high because we have burned fuel pressure outside the cylinder is atmospheric pressure so delta p came into the action delta p is what cylinder pressure minus atmospheric pressure because of this delta p the exhaust gases goes out still the transport port will be closed why it is closed because the position of transport port is below the exhaust port position of transport port is below the exhaust port so first exhaust port will open and then transport port will open okay so first all exhaust gases will be get removed and then as it moves on downside direction a transport port may also get open now as i told you the air plus fuel fresh charge will enter from this opening and it will be occupied here in the crankcase while piston is moving on downside direction while piston is moving on downside direction below the piston on the downside of the piston there will be compression compression means what the volume of air plus fuel go on reduces and pressure goes on increases once the piston uncovers the transport port because of high pressure on this side because of high pressure on this side the charge will move up this has happened because of what pressure difference once again pressure below will be high pressure above will be more okay so 